The Tao of Self-Confidence, episode 356. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is the co-founder and CMO of My Divio. She is also a TV host and producer for Mix TV, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Rosalind Alba Cobarubias. Rosalind, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Yeah, good morning. Um, I'm excited to be a part of your program. I know you've, you've interviewed some phenomenal women in the past, so it's an honor to be interviewed, uh, first of all. My background is I started in elementary school as a, as a DJ, <laughs> recording music at lunch, and that's how my musical journey began, I like to call it. Um, I really had a passion for music, and although the typical story, our parents want us to do something else, such as law or medicine, I, I chose to uh, pursue a career in the music industry, even though I didn't sing or rap. <laughs> and that meant, you know, interning everywhere, Get, getting experience at Radio Disney, Radio Express, etc., and starting to produce my own events and concerts under the third floor radio umbrella of, of my college radio show and eventually production company to the mo- to the point that it got the attention of the MySpace.com co-founders. And I helped launch MySpace.com as well as MySpace Music. I spent a decade there. And after being there for about 10 years as the head of artist relations and integrated marketing, I moved on to create my own company, which was called My Divio, standing for My Talent Discovery Video. And basically what we are is a video portfolio platform where artists, brands, influencers, etc. utilize our video profiles to then share their stories and expedite the process of networking, getting booked, getting hired, etc. And now we're the largest network of video portfolios line and we were just acquired by engage bdr one of the top ad networks for 7.4 million dollars and we've been here about for about six months and it's been exciting awesome well thanks for sharing that and congrats to all the achievements it's really awesome that you're able to create something starting from you know doing doing something what you love and it's it's great that you know you can show others what's possible so thanks for sharing that again and Rosalind, what's your cultural background my mom and, um, is, is Filipino, uh, from the Philippines. Um, of course, all Filipinos have, have some Spanish in them, but my great-grandfather was part Spanish from Spain. That's where the Cabarubias comes from. But yeah, I'm definitely an island person. I'm an, an island girl at heart. Also, you know, of course, uh, I'm, I'm American, so Filipino-American. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? Martin Luther King Jr., you don't have to see the entire staircase to take the first step. I think a lot of the times we get overwhelmed and we get frustrated thinking about the path ahead, not realizing you just have to take it step by step. And I love that step, that that, that speech that he gave. And he added a faith piece to it, but um, I usually just repeat it over and over is in the in the speeches that I do at, at colleges or schools is you don't have to t- see the entire staircase, just take the first step. Thanks for sharing that. And that's a great quote. I mean, I'm guilty of you know, doing that, trying to like see the whole thing, not realizing all it just, all you need is just taking that first, first step, taking the first action and, you know, like everything will just fall into place. I know we all like overthink everything to the point it's like we resist from doing something that's we're meant to do. And, you know, I like that this, this quote is actually a great reminder of just learning to just take the first step no matter what happens. So thanks for sharing that. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? It changed over the years. You know, I, I think when I was younger, self-confidence was kind of like, they could say you make it. <laughs> when you didn't really have the experience, but you walked into a room with a sense of, if I don't necessarily know it, I could figure it out, right? I mean, that that, that, that extends to now. It's, like, it, it, it's not so much about experience because there there is experience in everybody. They have the, their own experience, but it's really not knowing what the future holds or how something will get done or how to how to overcome a challenge but it's trusting your own abilities and your qualities and your judgment to overcome the challenge or accomplish what needs to be done in order to to get the task done um it's having a faith in yourself and it, it takes it takes time to to grow that it's not something that you're well some people are lucky to just be born with it but i think it takes some trial and error and and get that over the years Thanks for sharing that. And yet yeah, it, it does take time to trust yourself, especially I think growing up as an Asian woman, being told what to do your whole life. It is very 
like scary at first because you're not sure if the things you're doing are you know are gonna work or not gonna work and you have like this thing where you just don't trust yourself but when you just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it it's gonna show so you know I love that definition that you have and you know what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence you briefly touched on it, you know, especially being Asian women or Filipino women, I think, or just women in general, where sometimes when we're put in a room, we do, we don't lean in, as Cheryl Sandberg would said, you know, we take the, we let others take credit for our work, we don't always feel qualified, you know, whether it's a degree that we we don't have, or it's a, it's remembering what a family member had said, or a parent, uh, or a friend that might dissuade us from thinking that we don't have the self-confidence. So, and speaking on that, you know, there were times where, you know, when we first started MySpace, uh, it was the first, you know, online social network, this was before Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. So, stepping into rooms and trying to convince people, especially managers and labels, why artists should have an online profile, where they felt like, you know, their artists don't want to be that close to their fans, which is crazy to think of it now. It, it was very challenging to, to have that confidence and knowing that we had, you know, no matter how many no's you have, if you have something of product that you believe in that will change lives, you, you have to just keep going for it. And for every no, you just tack it on the wall, but you'll eventually hear, you know, different yeses. And that's, I think, how self-confidence is developed. Like, again, like we said, it's those first few steps and then more steps and more steps and then later being able to connect the dots. So I think... Before I discovered my own self-confidence, it was either walking into, you know, those music rooms or walking into a boardroom or just you know, life in itself, not really knowing my own purpose, I think kept me from having a true self-confidence because you can have a title at your job. You can have people that work for you, but until you actually know why you're doing something, you know, you could feel lost at times. You're always searching for answers, but you know, now with self-confidence, I let, I just let the universe take its course <laughs> and I pay attention to the signs and the coincidences and, and kind of let go of control and once you realize that you can't really can't control the universe but you can use your experience to guide you through the science and the coincidence I think that really brings out a new self-confidence that you don't even know you had with knowing your purpose awesome well thanks for sharing that and was there a point in your life when you realized you are you know you have the ability to go out there and do what you love and you know even like create your own company what was like what was that aha moment the aha moment was for me was when Liftoff Pictures, they were shooting different EPKs or interviews with different different folks, whether it's musicians, executives, etc. And for the past 10 years before that, or even you know prior to that at, at my radio show, Third Floor Radio, I was always interviewing other artists, whether it's Bruno Mars or Kanye West or you know Justin Bieber, Drake. When they first started, I didn't really feel comfortable in doing an interview about myself. <laughs> you know, I had to do a few press runs, you know, for Billboard or for Audrey, etc. But this was on video. So I, I took the chance. I, I, I said yes because they were very adamant and letting and, and wanting me to do this. And once I did, you know, we talk, we reflected back on my career from the from the from the starting point, which I mentioned was being a DJ in elementary school, to then you know my first jobs. And I realized that after you know experiencing that interview and then getting to watch it after, I could see my career as a journey rather than just one job. It, it wasn't a destination. It wasn't a test. It wasn't a competition or a race. And that's how I felt sometimes w when it came to career. You think, you know, when they ask you what you want to grow up, you think of one job. And I just wanted to be in MTV VJ. <laughs> but doing that interview, it actually gave me a chance to see everything in hindsight and see how all the dots were connected. And it was actually a map. It was a career journey versus just one job. And so once I created that, or once they created that and I was able to share that video and people that were close to me finally understood what I did, including my mom or just, you know, potential clients that I wanted to work with, including our potential investors, etc. I realized uh, the power of video and, you know, I, people spend or Fortune 500 companies fill, spend $5 million for a 30 second Super Bowl commercial. And, you know, artists spend millions of dollars on their music videos every year for their song. Why is, has that not translated to the everyday person or the everyday business? And then that, that gave me the inspiration to create my Divio, standing for my talent discovery videos that everybody, you know, especially in the digital times where people are getting their news from Facebook, they're getting their restaurant recommendations for Instagram, and they're, you know, talking to each other on Snapchat. We live in a very impatient world where the best way to get your story across, whether it's about your brand or your a video is, is the, fa the fastest way and whether it's a video resume or video portfolio either about your restaurant or yourself as an individual or as an artist as a talent it, it, it just by the use of, of videos I've seen 
that process expedite. You know, we've been able to, able to work with America's Got Talent, the White House, etc., cetera, um, just by using these video portfolios. So in, in hindsight, if I never did that interview, I would have never had that aha moment and I would have never created the idea for our company now. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. You know, it's such a great story and aha moment. You know, I, I feel I know how you feel when someone wants to interview you because, you know, I'm usually interviewing women as well. And when okay. someone wants to like ask me and, you know, to share my story, I'm still like, who's going to listen to me? Right. I mean, we always have those little things in our head. But, you know, I still go ahead and, and say yes, because I never know who I can inspire or who I can whose lives I can change or who it can reach out to. So thanks for sharing that. And, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? The one tip that I give to her is what I do now when I speak at colleges or, you know, I wrote I with the Filipino channel. I spoke at Cal State Long Beach and I transcribed it into an ebook. But it's all about, you know, the, the, the journey. Your career path is a journey. We're all going to have different things that we experience but if we know again that you know life isn't just or your career isn't one job it's a, it's it's not one des- destination but it's a journey i think it, it'll make everybody feel like whatever page they're on is, is the right page we're never on the wrong page and i hope to outwardly promote that to other women out there who might be looking to find their path and i think you know reflecting back on your history and seeing the different steps that you took and what worked and what didn't work will also help you guide you in the future direction Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that tip. And Rosalind, if our listeners want to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Sure. You can visit my website. It's rosalindc.com, R-O-S-L-Y-N-N-C.com. And that's also my Instagram, R-O-S-L-Y-N-N-C. And my Twitter is R-O-S-L-Y-N-N. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Rosalind, you can also head on over to thetowofselfconfidence.com and search for Rosalind's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just really want to thank Rosalind for taking the time to share her story with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for, for having me, Sheena. Not a problem. It was an honor having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Get your free self-talk tape for building self-confidence by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.